Hey, welcome back to the show, everyone. I am Limba510, and thank you for coming, checking this out. Really appreciate it. Salute, all that good stuff. First, I want to let you guys know what you're watching. This is a uh, the first playoff game of the A's. Yes, we made it to the playoffs. Now, if you checked out my previous videos, you saw that we were kind of struggling, but I got on a hot streak. And basically, what a hot streak is, is when... You had when when your player's doing really well in this game, you 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 get put on a hot streak, and then all your stats get increased. Okay, so like my my fielding got better, and most most importantly, my batting got better. And what that means is that usually my batting will be at like 74, but it got to be like 85. You know, so so I was hitting balls out of the ballpark, and later on in the video you'll see my my season stats. And my average was great. I, like, like I said, I was hitting home runs. I was getting doubles. I was driving in runs. And because of that, I gave us that push that we needed to get to the uh, to the playoffs here. So first game of the playoffs, and I'm going to post every game of the playoffs because <laughs> it's the playoffs, baby. So I'm posting every game. This is game one against the Boston Red Sox. So that's that. Second. I want to thank all of my new subscribers because last time I checked, we had 29. Now we got 37. So thank you, the new subscribers. I hope uh, you know you keep commenting on my videos, liking my videos, all that stuff because that means so much. You guys check me out and subscribe. I appreciate it. Third thing I want to talk about is the All Star festivities. Very quickly, um, last night. Now this is recorded on Tuesday, so last night was the off, was the uh, home run derby, and Robinson Cano won. Great, great win for him. Uh, his dad was there. It was an emotional moment. Good, 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 good. All that stuff. Now this year they had it a little bit differently. If you guys don't know, what they did was that they had two captains, and uh, they had an AL captain and an NL captain. The NL captain was Prince Fielder, and the AL captain was David Ortiz. And they got to choose their own teams, okay? Now, this is a really, really cool idea. I really, really like this idea. One thing I think that they kind of have to account for is possible favoritism about choosing certain players because, oh, you know what, I don't like him. And I pressed start there by accident, so sorry about that. But <laughs> because, like, okay, let, let's start with the NL side. One guy that sticks out to me on the NL side that shouldn't be there is Ricky Weeks. Yes, he can hit home runs. Okay, I, I mean, yes, but is he a home run hitter? He's having a great year. No doubt about it. He's having a great, great year. But when we're talking about home run derbies, we need, when we're talking about people who specialize in hitting home runs. And when I think of people who specialize in hitting home runs, I'm thinking of the Carlos Pena's, who had 19 on the air. I'm thinking about the Albert Pujols's, who, yes, I know he's injured, who has 18. I'm thinking about the Ryan Howards of the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, ex home run derby champion who has 18. I'm thinking about, you know, e I mean, e even Mike Stanton of the Florida Marlins who has 18 on the years. Many, many, many people may not know of him, but this dude can hit home runs as well. So I think there might have been a little bit of favoritism like, hey, you know what, I'm bringing my bud with me, you know, we're about to go party and all that stuff. And I think that it wasn't really like, oh, well, let's get the best home run hitters in the game. You know, maybe it'll get better later on. On the AL side, again, one person really stuck out to me that shouldn't be there, and that is Adrian Gonzalez. Yes, he's a good home run hitter. Yes, he's having a great year for the Boston Red Sox. But there are other people that I think should have been there. Mark Teixeira, he has 25. Canerco has 22. Beltre has 19. And Miguel Cabrera has 18. Okay, so those names are just people that I would throw in there instead of him. Uh, and again... He's on the same team as David Ortiz, so I think the favoritism may have come into play a little bit. So, I to conclude, I really, really like the idea of captains, but I think that the captains should, like, they got to make it so that the captains don't show as much favoritism as they did, because, I mean, obviously, Mark Deshera and David Ortiz have a lot of tension, you know, they're not obviously the best of friends. So, maybe it was like, oh, I'm not picking that. Do because he obviously hates me and we're not good friends and da, 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 da. and then it just comes into a popularity contest again. But at the end, I mean, obviously, All Star Games are all about popularity contests and stuff. But so that's my whole spiel on that. Okay, 
Now, for the next video, I'm going to talk about the All-Star game, but that hasn't happened yet. I'm going to watch it tonight, so you guys uh, check out the Game 2 of the playoffs for that one. I also want to talk about the A's, the Oakland Athletics, in real life, because in the virtual game, they had a star hitter who they brought up, <laughs> me, and I was able to get him to the playoffs. Uh, in real life, their record is 39 and 53, and they're 12 games back right now. That's uh, that, that's that, that's not very good, you know. And yes, we got a whole other half, but something needs to be changed, or else we're gonna end up right where we ended last year in second place. Well, we probably won't even get to second place this year. And th th this is this is what I think we need to do. You guys can comment and let me know if you guys are like, go, this dude's crazy, or yes, yes, vote this guy in for president, or whatever. You know, just let me know. So first. Sizemore and Weeks, if you guys don't know them, look them up. They are good, good young players. Keep them in the lineup. Keep them where they're at. That's great. Sweeney needs to get in the lineup more. This guy is hitting 284 on the season. He's not getting much playing time because of the crowded outfield. But you got to put him in there. I mean, David DeJesus, he's good, but bring him to the bench. Coco Crisp, keep him in there. Hideki Matsui. This guy is the person that we signed that we were like, this is going to lead. I mean, it seems like we always get like an old power hitter who always ends up not performing and gets hurt or whatever and then he just doesn't do anything. I mean, Hideki Matsui is hitting 209 on the season. He has a 290 on base percentage. He only has six home runs on the year. Okay, so at this point do you say, hey, you know what, let's try to trade him to another play to a to another team and get something for him? Yes. That is what I mean and that's what we gotta do again. Willingham, another power hitter who we brought in to bring our offense better. He's hitting 241. Decent. And I know people are like, 241? That sucks. But hey, for the Oakland A's, if you're hitting 241, you're a star of the team. And that just says how bad our offense is. Um, he has a pretty good on base percentage at 311. He has 11 home runs. So that's good. Now, a prospect that I think we need to give a little bit more time to, but I... I'm really on the fence about this dude is Chris Carter now he has gotten called up because of Willingham's injury okay uh, since he's been called up he's hit 133 that's his average okay he's hitting 188 that's his on base percentage sorry um, so it's kind of like give him some time because I mean if you guys remember last year if you don't then I'll let you know last year he had a small he had a really really slow start but then he, he started rolling once he you know got in the swing of things so do we give him more time do we let him mature a little bit yes we gotta give him more time he's young but we need to get rid of Hideki Matsui and maybe I mean these are just some people that that I came up with who may be interested I don't know if they're interested in coming to Oakland, but maybe we can throw in, like, Brandon McCarthy. And, I mean, we can even throw in David DeJesus at this point, you know, because we need offense. So, Prince Fielder, that's someone, and you guys can comment, let me know what you think about that. It's someone who I'm thinking about, Aramis Ramirez of Chicago Cubs, and Carlos Beltran, who has said that he's willing to um, talk about getting traded. So, my basic thing here is we need offense. If we don't get offense, we're not going to make it to the playoffs. Our pitching is good, but again, when you put too much pressure, I think, when you put too much pressure on young pitchers, you're going to get the pitchers in trouble. I mean, Trevor Cahill is a great, great pitcher, but his stats don't reflect that because he feels like I got to go up there and I got to pitch a perfect game every, every single day, and that just causes problems. But as you see, we won the first game of the playoffs and now up 1-0. Uh, I got 280 in my skill points. Those will come in handy in my fielding because I want to be a beast in fielding. But uh, just to conclude, I want to thank everyone for watching this again. Uh, check out my other videos. I'm nice from 510. Uh, also, there's a link down there. My friend started a clothing line. You guys can check that out. It's pretty cool. I haven't checked it out, but it's cool. It's cool. So until until next time, I'm from 510. I'm out of here. Deuces.